What's up guys, it's Drag, and it's time for everybody's favorite flavor of Nerf Blaster review. That's right, if you check out this sweet Amazon frustration-free packaging, not what I ordered from Amazon, by the way, Jeff Bezos. So we won't have a full packaging review on this one, but you can tell from the ultra sweet frustration-free packaging still needed the Fortnite logo on it. So let's, uh, let's crack this open and see what we're working with. Just pretend it's a pickaxe, right? Oh yeah. All right, so it's a totally not P90. Coming in from the Fortnite Nerf brand collaboration. We've got, does it say on the side here? What do they call this in the game? It's been so long since I've played Fortnite. When did Apex Legends come out? That's when I stopped playing Fortnite. They call this the Compact SMG, uh, AKA the Cartoon P90. You've got the pseudo magazine up top. You've got the box up here. You've got the blaster itself. You've got the overwhelming question of where the darts go. This is gonna be fun. Do we read the instructions? Do we dare? We do dare. No, we don't. All right, so it looks like we're using an internal magazine under the grip, underfed through here. It's got the same lips that you've come to expect from a lot of those Star Wars pistols, the sort of thing like the Magnus where you push the darts in and it kind of creates a magazine inside. This is actually almost a rubbery sort of grip here. It's actually a nice, pretty premium feature. I don't know if it'll translate well on camera, but this is hard ABS plastic. This is soft and rubbery. It's a really good grip material. Taking a page out of some of those pro blasters where they have rubberized grips and then rubberized stocks. Hasbro seems to be upping their game in terms of uh, comfort in places that your hands go. This bump pad down here is a softer plastic, not the same as the ABS plastic. And I don't really know what the purpose of that is other than maybe they just expect kids to be uh, like, you know, kind of supermaning it into cover with their P90 and hitting the, the base. But it doesn't actually protect the base here. It only protects this. So you'd have to hit an edge pretty hard. You've got no in-strike barrel lug. Neither is this, uh, this goofy orange thing removable. And hopefully while the red and the black is a very handsome color combination. It is a little dark. The silhouette I think is cartoony enough that this is pretty passable in terms of does it look like something real steel. However, before we start loading up darts into the grip and firing, we're gonna have to acknowledge that over here, we need four AA batteries. Let's go. All right guys, so with four AA batteries installed, we can go ahead and start loading into the, uh, the internal magazine here with a maximum capacity of eight darts. It, uh, very awkward holding this to load them in in a way that you can see. It's one of the larger internal capacity magazines. So I guess for the last four darts, a far more ergonomic, that was kind of floppy, whippy, whip whap. Insert Spider-Man noise here, a far more ergonomic way of doing this would be to hold it open this way uh, with your off hand and then use your dominant hand to get the darts in like so. I imagine that there's gonna be a pusher at the, huh. There's a pusher at the base of the blaster, and the blaster is actually just transparent enough under light. It's one of Hasbro's thinner shells, I suppose. You can see the pusher is here, the bottom of the magazine, so it goes up this way and pushes the darts down here, and then the flywheel cage is here, obviously in line with that barrel there. But we've got batteries in. Uh, the ergo of it is a little goofy. That said, the ergo of a real P90 is a little goofy there. Everybody thinks that they're really cool because of video games. As somebody who has shot a P90 in multiple different occasions, incredibly awkward. Uh, ammunition, ergonomics, everything about them. I don't know if I would ever want to own one personally, but uh, we've got the rev switch down here, the trigger right here. The overall kind of construction of the grip is a little cramped. I wear size large gloves. If you look at how my hand hits the grip to have my middle finger here, and my trigger finger here, there's an awkward sort of interplay with the palm of my hand and this sort of, I don't know, thumb hole port thing. Uh, the back strapping here, the pseudo back strapping for the stock doesn't really do anything. And of course, being as compact as a, uh, as a P90 is, uh, you really, you choke up on it and then are immediately, uh, you can't see above it because of the rails. Of note, firing stock nerf blaster darts, especially elite darts for their wild inaccuracies, there's no real merit in having an optic, so to speak, until you're doing something at a higher FPS, a more competitive platform. But if there ever was a blaster that didn't need an optic, the fact that there's a six inch difference between your muzzle and your riser here means that there's just, you could add it for, for tactical points, for swag and style, but there's really no, no necessity there. In fact, you don't want to aim down sights 
because if you put your cheek here, you're looking directly at a, at a block of uh, plastic here. But let's fire it a few times for good measure inside. Yep, that's a stock elite flywheel blaster. It's been a while. Uh, let's take it outside and see what that means. All right, guys, so uh, the gardenias are a little, little out of hand. All I can tell you is that it smells amazing right now. I just wish it smelled amazing three feet that way, but uh, that's what you get chaining End War and Foam Fest and Star Wars Celebration, all those good things together. So let's go ahead and put the Fortnite uh, compact SMG over yield chronograph. 63, 64, 63, 58. What that looks like in terms of real world ranges is, you know, in a world where a lot of the stuff on the channel has been pretty, pretty impressive recently, it looks a lot like not getting over the fence, at least with flat shots, which means you can expect effective ranges of about 20 feet. This is definitely on like the list of things that would be way, way cooler with a modification guide and as a semi-auto Flywheeler, that should be really, really achievable, right? So if you want a mod guide, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm pretty sure we'd have to develop a cage for it. The internal magazine lifts, uh, limits its kind of tactical ability just because you wouldn't be able to store a bunch of onboard or ready to go kind of uh, ammo. I'm sure that somebody will create like a, a clip that feeds into it, but that is a, uh, it's no longer really my speed. If I want a magfed blaster, I usually just uh, reach for a magfed blaster overall. I think that this one fits into the pretty classic category of all these Fortnite blasters, which is that it is an okay nerf blaster. It's actually a lower performer than say a dedicated elite semi-auto flywheeler, which usually are low 70s, this being mid 60s, is a little bit anemic by comparison. However, if you really like the shell or you really like Fortnite or you need it for a Halloween costume, it'll probably be on a pretty steep sale by the time Halloween comes around. I think that there's nothing wrong with this product. I mean. At the end of the day, it's a semi-auto flywheeler that costs a little bit more than the alternative. You can't get a Strife for $20 anymore. So, you know, it's not even a huge upcharge necessarily. But uh, if you like the shell, if you like the colors, there's nothing wrong with it. It's not going to be your most tactical option, but not everything has to be the most tactical option. Some people just like Fortnite. Some people are just massive P90 fanboys. And for those, you've never really had anything that isn't very expensive and 3D printed that gets that sort of vibe across. So maybe you just want an internal magazine uh, flywheel blaster. But if you are going that route, just be aware that you have to be very deliberate with how you load darts into this, because if you don't fully breach the lips, you're not going to be aligned with the plunger. So you really want to overfill it and then let the follower push them back into position because of how wonky the alignment with the pusher into the magazine, into the flywheel cage is, as opposed to darts that normally rest on top of the magazine and are stopped by the feed lips on the mag. This has more room for error. Overall, decent silhouette, easily nerfs best color scheme of the year. And, uh, you know, not an amazing blaster. Not a terrible blaster, fits very firmly into, like I said, that category of, if you like these properties and want to combine them, it's a fine pickup. If not, I would wait for it to be on sale. Much love, blast on, Drek out. Ah!